comedian M. Monique has shifted her target in her comedy to single out one of the nation's most popular preachers, Bishop T.D. Jakes as well as one of her Hollywood enemies, Tyler Perry. The Oscar award-winning actress homed in on a sermon last December where Jakes encouraged his congregation to come out of the closet. Come out the closet, quit keeping a secret and let the world know if it had not been for the Lord that was on my side, I would have been swallowed up, have you ever been swallowed up, Jakes said in an exaggerated fashion. Have you gone through a time of swallowing, where everything was overwhelming and you were at your wit's end? That is my point of view. M. Monique, who is currently touring with Cot Williams, took the clip and made it a part of her stand-up routine in Louisville, KY on April 12. You blowing my mother of king mind because you are looking like you a man of God, T.D. Jakes, a clip posted on Gossip of the City S.I.N.S. Tiagram page captured the comedian saying. Have you ever been swallowed how the F.K. is this N.G.A. talking about D.K. sucking on the pulpit I'm like, yes, N.G.A. I've been swallowed, have you? And who swallowed you Medea she continued referring to Tyler Perry's most known film and TV characters. Hell you rumor. Fans immediately commented on the short clip, defending her crude and brash form of comedy. For many, it was a welcome return to unapologetic blue language. I love that we're getting back to what comedy used to be. Comedy used to have no limits. And before Monique became a big actress, she was an even funnier comedian, one person wrote. I'm hollering, if y'all can't take Monique comedy you sure would have hated Bernie Mac and Richard Pryor mouth. Another person said. Some came to the defense of Pastor Jakes. She clearly didn't he watch the sermon, God said touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm, said one person, while another wrote. That is not what T.D. Jake S. was talking about though. He was talking about being caught up in the spirit. After her remarks about Jake's, the Parker star then called out audience members who pulled out their phones to record the moment, stating, That is so mother of king rude. B.H., if you don't put your mother of king phone away, before threatening to hit an audience member in your head. In response, one critic said, she is so disrespectful and want people to respect her. How you threatening the audience? Get with the times or retire. Phones and recording Aaron T going anywhere that s the way of the world Big Bertha. A few agreed that pastors are not off limits when it comes to comedy because they human and sin like everybody else. But there is concern about the blowback from M. Monique s jokes. Two others said, that Medea comment was personal and she not going to be happy until she blackballed again. And she is not funny, many are familiar with M. Monique accusations against Perry and Oprah Winfrey, whom she accused of blackballing her after her Oscar winning precious role. But the sermon she references is actually taken out of context and is more than the shocking social media bite she mentioned on stage. Jakes tied the concept of being swallowed up or drowning from being overwhelmed to the resurrection story. While Jakes' clip that has circulated since last December is more than just M. Monique's take on it, it comes at a time when Jakes is attached to the scandalous allegations against Sean Diddy Combs. He has been referenced in the most recent lawsuit against the bad boy executive and has been accused of attending his parties. Rodney Jones a producer on the The Love album, Off the Grid, has accused Diddy of inappropriate, illegal, and sexual acts as well as drugging him. In the filing, Jones alleges he has evidence of Mr. Combs detailing how he planned to leverage his relationship with Bishop T.D. Jakes, to soften the impact on his public image of Cassie Ventura's lawsuit. Diddy settled the multi-million suit brought by his ex Cassie last November in which she alleged a series of accusations against him, including rape, sex trafficking and other offenses during their decade-long relationship. Those claims were followed by lawsuits and similar accusations by three Jane Does. Following the settlement, 
a video was released accusing Jakes of attending Diddy's infamous parties and allegedly participating in inappropriate sexual conduct with a minor, though neither claim has been validated. After the headlines flooded the internet and during his Christmas Eve broadcast service, the author of Woman Thou Art Loosed indirectly addressed the rumors about his alleged behavior. Some of you logged in or come in out of concern some of you come in to hear what I'm going to say. All of you who expect me to address a lie, you can log off, said Jakes, later adding, I will stand straight up, head up, back straight, and preach the unadulterated and infallible word of God because that is what the pulpit is for. Other preachers like Dr. Juanita Bynum have spoken out about the onslaught of attacks saying that people should mind their business. Everybody around me can tell you I don't talk about preachers. I don't talk about nobody cause I don't know who gone have to be my help one day, I don't put my mouth on the people of God cause I wasn't tea there and I don't know, she began before suggesting that people who were not in the room stay quiet. Mind your business she said. Okay, okay. I am M.A. leave that alone because this anti no New Year's Eve message. Whether it's the Diddy lawsuit or the swallowed up comment, Jake's dozen T seem to be off the hook and continues to be the butt of people's jokes. All jokes aside, the bishop continues to do God's work after his foundation recently partnered with Wells Fargo to donate $1.5 million to the Jackie Robinson Foundation to help them empower future leaders.